Toronto will open its final three mass immunization clinics tomorrow, bringing the total to nine across the city. And this comes as the city also rolls out pop-up clinics in high-risk neighbourhoods like the one we're standing in right now, where hundreds of people were immunized today. Under umbrellas in the pouring rain, residents lined up for hours for their shot at one of 1,100 doses available today at a pop-up clinic in Thorncliffe Park. Identified as a hotspot neighbourhood in Toronto, anyone 18 and over now eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine here. Shivering cold, but it's, I think, worth the wait. We are so happy with you. Yeah, yeah we're That's excited. Good. I'm going back to work after maternity leave, and I work downtown Toronto, so I feel a lot safer having at least a first dose before going back. Hopefully, there's enough vaccines for all of us. The pop-up began operating Saturday and is expected to administer 2,400 doses by the end of the weekend. There's been a push to roll out vaccines in high-risk areas as COVID infections skyrocket. The latest figures show a sharp rise of new cases in Toronto, jumping nearly 400 overnight to 1,353, just shy of the city's single-day record set in January. The next couple of weeks are going to be difficult. Coming to screening? <laughs> as of tomorrow, three more city-run clinics will be up and running in Etobicoke, Eglinton Lawrence and Humber River Black Creek, bringing the total to nine. And based on current supply, that will mean the city will have the capacity to administer more than 56,000 doses a week at city-run clinics alone. We've seen how successful and critical that these sites uh, have been in our effort to vaccinate Toronto residents as quickly as possible. Nearly 711,000 doses have been administered in Toronto so far by city clinics, hospitals, healthcare teams and pharmacists. And the shots couldn't get into arms fast enough as Ontario's ICU capacity reaches a breaking point. A record number of COVID patients has had doctors sounding the alarm all weekend and calling for backup from other provinces. We need ICU nurses here in the GTA to care for the patients that are coming and the patients we have already. ICU physicians say they're also seeing younger patients. Many of them are essential workers, and so there has been a push to get essential workers vaccinated. And starting tomorrow, uh, educators in hotspots in Toronto and Peel will be eligible for the vaccine.